My wife is in real estate and in real estate they have a term called FISBO which stands for for sale by owner. When they see a house that has a for sale by owner sign, a real estate agent might call that house and say, hey, would you like to maybe talk about what I can do for you and maybe change your mind instead of representing yourself, I could represent you, list the house. I saw, I was driving down the road, I saw a for sale by owner's side, I took down the number, I gave it to my wife, my wife says, you know what, they're a waste of time. And I said, yeah, but call it. She said, how about you call? And I said, okay. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to go down the road and get like a, a little bit of a time lapse. I didn't really record a proper video today. I figured I'll go to the, I'll go to the end of the road. The sky looks pretty sweet. And I'll record a little something, you know, get a little cardio in, get a little cinematography in. But I, I'm, I'm anxious to see how this phone conversation is going to end. My daughter is watching TV. My wife is on the phone. What time is it? 8.05. We're losing it. We're losing that sunset time lapse. Might still get some cool sky shots. I hope my daughter doesn't have a meltdown and my wife's on the phone conducting business and then poor John Bradley. Why did you go outside skateboard for that time lapse? Why? It's not gonna come down to that though. Everything's good. She's watching a Disney movie. I think it's called Bolt. And I bolted out the garage. Oh, that sky, look at that. It's just a little bit of a red sky. Actually, it's not even that red. It's not that impressive, but... But I have to kind of like talk it up because it's it's the point that I wanted to come out here for. Oh, what's going on here? Right now I'm at the middle school that's down the road from my street. And there's a truck parked between two cones with somebody in it like it's a driving test or something. Where are you going? What we got going on here? A little parking practice. Oh. Nice, sorry. Okay. Sorry for just riding through your parallel parking practice. Not only did I ride through the parallel parking practice cones, but I'm also down here filming myself, which got to be a distraction if you're trying to parallel park for the first time. The lighting is nice out here. I mean, the sky's got a good color to it. Nice yellows popping off these buses behind me. I really gotta go home though. This was just a quick jaunt to find some nice footage for today. The sky looks mighty nice and red over there. There is no chance of me setting a camera up anywhere here that's gonna get me that time lapse that I need. I mean, the sun is just too low in the sky. I've lost my opportunity. The street lights are coming on. The sun is set. There's no, there's no time lapses to be had, but I should go home and see if my wife has done that call and see see what kind of progress she made. I'm hoping, cross my fingers. But if not, that's cool too. I drink about one of these per week. This is a 24 pack of seltzer. Actually, hold on. Yes. Did you want one? No? Okay. She's still on the phone, but it's not with, it's not with a buyer, it's with another real estate agent. 
But the fact that she's on the phone talking about this potential listing with somebody else, and it all came from Johnny B. No, I'm not gloating. I'm just saying I think that's funny. Like, I'm driving down the road, I see a little tiny for sale by owner sign from like, you know, the local hardware store, and I'm thinking, give it a call. Give it a call. And she's saying, how about you call? I did. I didn't think it was gonna get anywhere. I got a voicemail, I left some message of me just blabbing on and on very unprofessionally. Apparently, they like the cut of my jib, or at least the sound of my voice. I don't know, enough to call back. It is so hot in here. I mean, in the garage, it's gotta be like, a hundred degrees. I gotta go inside. I'll see you tomorrow. Come out to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs.